So how does all this work? Um, so review, every object knows its class. So here we have a couple of bombs and a helicopter. And so if I send uh, this one bomb an after tick message, uh, it goes and runs the after tick code in bomb. Send this bomb an after tick message. It says, oh yeah, I know, I'm a bomb. And it finds the after tick method in bomb. If I send the helicopter an after tick method, right, the object knows that it's a helicopter, so it calls the after tick method in helicopter, right? Similarly, right, every object knows its own methods. So let's think about flashing ball. If I define B1 to be a new flashing ball, here's flashing ball, it's got some inherit fields. Okay, it's got its own fields. It's got a define override there, uh, but it also knows that it inherits from ball. So, right, if I create a new flashing ball and I send the flashing ball an add to scene method, well, it says, oh, okay, I'll use my local add to scene method. If I send that flashing ball an on tick message, it will observe that there is no on tick defined in flashing ball. So it will continue to look for the on tick method. It will go up possibly a whole chain of inheritances until it finds one. If I send the flashing ball, send B1, a launch missiles message, what's going to happen? Well, it's going to look and say, well, there's no launch missiles method in flashing ball. Let's look in ball. There's no launch missiles up here, so it will go look in object. And of course, object doesn't have a launch missiles method either, so you'll get a, a method not found error. 